I set it and here it is Deb step so I've already created a Deb step VM this is my main I wanted to make sure that it actually works I don't even have a list open up and open up in Vim here of what I'm going to be doing today which is what I've already done in this VM this is Deb step so let me go ahead and just explain what's Deb step what this concept this experiment is the idea is Deb we are using Debian Linux step we are taking window maker and BSD utilities and software running on it and no this is not k-free BSD this is some BSD software such as well, for example a really good one being the slim login manager that's an example but we're also using things like Window Maker, which was universally POSIX compliant. So, let's go ahead and do it. Because again, the whole thing with Window Maker and Step is next step. So I'm definitely going to be um, doing the whole um, next step thing and whatnot through a BSD at some point. So, I'm using the 64-bit version. You can use whichever version you'd like, though. Go ahead and get that. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and lower to 768 megabytes on two threads, one core. Because, well, we're going to see that it's not actually um, going to take a lot of memory. So, of course, the storage, we're going, I'm going to lower that down to 16 gigabytes. Deb11, this is going to be Deb11. Deb step shown. Going to configure before installation, though. Okay, so I'll be the CD-ROM. These will be here. You have the boot menu. Yes, I have thing to be ready to go. We're going to now begin the installation. Alright, so if you want to follow along, that's fine. I'm going to boot into it, and I'm going to go to install, not the graphical install. Now, they're entering low memory mode. The system has relatively little free memory, so it'll enter low memory mode, among other things. This means that this program will proceed in English. You should set up swap space as soon as possible. Now, we don't actually need to worry about that. That's just in this. North America, United States... Use American English. I don't know why it's so insistent that's low memory. Um, perhaps they don't properly dump what they need to in time or something. I guess that's what it is. If that's the case, I'm going to be shocked because usually Debian is very well optimized in every single way possible. But that's fine. So we're going to go ahead and make our host name. So this is just going to be Debstep. Yeah, Debstep. Dot. Dot localhost. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and set up my root password. There we go. So I'm going to create a user. Give me my Sentinel administrator. And the username is just going to be Sentinel. So for him. Alright, so what is my clock? It is Eastern Standard Time. US and Canada, New York, Eastern Standard Time. Guided partitioning. And screw it, have everything in one partition. Makes it simple and quick. We're going to just write to the disks. That's fine. That's all good and dandy. So yeah, this uh, journey doesn't really take too long. It's just that if it's your first time looking at it, you might go, oh, it's a little scary. It looks kind of old. But in reality, it's... Hey, it's... It's old, but at the same time, there's a reason of why this is still being used. And that reason is... It works, and it works perfectly. 
Volume up some. There we go. Volume is now a bit higher. But yeah, that's why it's still used. Because it works, and it works perfectly. It works with no issues, and it never will have issues, as far as we know. Now. <clears throat> so... Yeah, so this is going to go ahead and just install the base system, which is doing right now. Now, I'm going to warn you, I heavily recommend you do this on a virtual machine as well. Or only if you have a, what the fuck just happened? Ah, uh, nothing. Nothing happened, by the looks of things. Okay, that's a memory dump. Click yes. No. Okay, your goal to find the Debian mirror. Uh. United States, Debian.org. Oh, guys, this is all breaking. When we get into the OS, I promise it will not be this broken. <laughs> it should not be this broken. Oh, uh, that gave me a little frowny face, too. <laughs> oh, this whole this whole experiment's gonna be a massive fucking ride. Uh, it is not liking this low memory. Okay, yeah, it it has to be highly unoptimized on 64-bit systems because there is just no fucking way that it's having this much of a problem on on something as high as 768 megabytes. That is perfectly enough to do all of this. So it has to be some sort of memory dumping thing that was never patched. It's probably never needed to be patched or some excuse. Oh, God. <laughs> I, I should have done free BSD. But screw it. I have another VM set up with all this. Might as well continue. The end goal is, though... Um, I was experiment like this. So, Nasmi supply distribution developers with statistics about the most used packages. I'm going to make that no on this one. But you can get this. This is not my main system. But yeah. Alright, so this do not press enter on anything. You need to use space and arrows. I will not have. Yeah, I do not want. There we go. If it has an asterisk. There we go. I did not have an asterisk. So we're good. I have never seen the Debian installer look this bad before. It, it's, om it's so depressing. If I did not know... Like, the whole goddamn layout... Of, of the Debian installer, I guarantee you I would not be able to work my way around this at all. There's just no way. So yeah, if you have a uh, low-end system, and you got like a small monitor, like one of those old Dell or HP monitors that are very thin, but also very, uh, very tall, those are the type of monitors we're looking at today, pretty much. Yes, install grub on dev VDA. So, yeah, if you have one of those types of setups, and let's say you're running some old shit, but you're used to old shit in general. If it's 64-bit, even if it's 32-bit, use the 32-bit version, it should still work. Yeah, installation is complete. Continue. And there we go. Now we're going to go ahead and... It's all working. Advanced options don't really show anything important. It's the same thing. And look at that. We are done. So now we have the base system installed. Go ahead and log into your user. Now... As it says here, the program included with the Debian GNU slash Linux system are free software. The exact distribution term for each program is described in individual files. So I'm going to go ahead and control L just to clear. 
I'm going to su into the root user. Let's have my root password because we need to get into higher privileges, which um, in depth step two, um, I'm going to have to decide whether or not I want to do do as or I want to do sudo. So I'm not going to set up sudo in this one, although it's best to have sudo set up. But you don't yet, and we'll deal with that later. So first off, we want to apt update. We're all up to date. So I want to apt install. Let's go install a few things. Let's get curl htop neofetch and vim. Last time I checked, it comes with vi, but not vim. And that is all going to install with no problem. Now, you all would probably be used to graphical interface, but go ahead and just keep following along. Let's check. htop working. Neofetch working. Let's take a look at that. 76 megabytes. All's fine and dandy. Now, we've also got, of course, we have VI. And that is now going to be direct to Vim. There's also curl if you want to, let's say, I'm, I'm just going to curl archive.org. There we go. It's, it's nothing really important. Pingnu.org. Control Z to stop that. Now, the thing I'm going to do real quick is we're going to go ahead and get that graphical environment that we want, but which will actually turn it into a step system. So, first off, we're going to apt install xorg wmaker and slim there we go got a little sip of coffee we're fixing to have our step system up and running oh wait there is one more that i forgot one more package we can install it from inside the window maker but you know what? Yeah, I'll install from within Window Maker just to show you the difference. That's going to be Kaja, but I will show that there. So I'm going to start X, and we get booted directly into Debian. We're going to go ahead and exit session, and now I'm going to, of course, exit, stop the jobs, exit. There we go. Now I'm going to exit. Oh. Um, by the way, getting a... Th this is where you would just um, press Control or Delete. So yeah. Uh, I do need to also demonstrate how to get a proper shutdown. That can be a little difficult. Here we go. Now if we press F1, we see we have Window Maker showing up instantly. There we go. Now all we got to do is just Sentinel. There we go. Take a look at that. Quick and simple. Only 13 seconds. So only 13 minutes. <laughs> if that was all 13 seconds, that'd be amazing. So yeah. Now how to navigate. If you left, if you left click, usual, you notice just this. If you right click, tap that, notice that happens. Right, just keep on right clicking. Also drag click. And also left drag them away. So there you go. Now one thing I always recommend is getting this up here on your clips. On your clip option, I'm going to keep icon. So even when I kill this task, I can always get access to Xterm. Now, this all works pretty damn well. Now I'm going to go and do a little bit of customization. I'm going to go to background. I'm going to go to deep blue. That looks 
okay. Something straight out of Windows NT era. So I'm going to do a gradient. I'm going to do blue shades. I like that. What about other things like styles? Like There's a lot of other styles around. Themes, style, themes. Oh, sorry, I mean themes, are just themes. But my favorite, if I can actually find it, is just a, is default. Similar, but not the exact same. And of course, with the background gradient of, if I can get it here. Uh, Nope, wrong one. This is, I, I usually just set it once and I call it a day. There we go. Blue is pretty good. But I'm just trying to find that one that I really like. I forgot where it is. Mm, deep blue? No. We already dealt with that before. This is becoming an issue. Default. We can just keep this, but I would like to find mine. Shouldn't be sky. It should be. I should probably edit this out. That's what I should probably do. Wine. Yeah. Wine. Nice wine. Definitely. Ah, uh, yes. Give us the advice of theming. Go ahead, ruin our eyes. We're just going to go ahead and keep this then. So I'm going to go ahead and SU into the root user. Again, you'll notice we don't necessarily have a whole lot of utilities here. We go ahead and change that by apt install catch us, C A J A. We're going to get a lot of things file manager and a bunch of peripherals for those. Now, while that's installing, go ahead and take a look at this little bastard right here. This is your dock. Get familiar with it. This is your clip. You can put it anywhere you want. You can put it right over here. You can put it right over here. I prefer just keeping it up there. You can double click or just click the sides. But sides don't really do a lot. I don't know why they don't do anything. You can double click. Hide and show, pull your stuff there, you can put stuff here. Here, you have your cabinets, and you have your main dock. So, it's a bunch of different images, some specific kind of images. But there's one in particular that I've created that I will show much later on. But for right now, I'm going to show... We have, we're currently using GNU step. I use GNU step X, GNU step 3D, which one's cleaner? XPM. I actually made a logo for this. And here, I will change that icon. If I can get it, if I can find it. That is not the one. When I find it, I'm not going to add this part out because I'd like to show you all where things are. There's drawer. Drawer is alright, but here we go. There's the default application. That will just... There we go. So if we have applications, we have a lot of things going up. We have Mate color selection. 
Now, you could have just installed some GNOME software, but it doesn't work, does it? Nope. I'm going to remove that icon, and this will now bring it to us. So now we can now we can happily take that away. Now that this can lock to it. Now. We've got this. Basically it's the same the theming of the other Mate applications. We have file management preferences. Definitely in the style of Advaita, but not invasive. And of course, we have Kaja, the actual file manager. Now we can right click, we've got to maximize. If you want, you can go to settings. Or actually, no, I'm sorry, you can bring this all the way to the left. Dock position sets to normal. And then it will be able to go under. So there we go. Now also there's run. So if I want to run like Kaja, there we go, Kaja, see? I'm going to apt install Firefox and I will, oh, I'm sorry. Um, for me, I'd recommend ESR. Personally, I prefer ESR. <coughs> so, there you go. For the most part, it's pretty much done now, but I'll show you some things with Firefox that you might just want to do. So I'm going to go ahead and run. I'm just going to run Firefox. Now, I have to also remember something. So I'm going to take a look. I'm going to go ahead and mini miniaturize. Nope, it will still go there. But the question remains, how much memory are we actually using? And we're still only using megabytes of memory. Now that, my friends, is optimization. And that's even with all the bloat here. So we're going to go ahead and go into settings, all right? Now, we're going to go ahead and make sure everything is good. I like adding the toolbar on these old systems just for reasons. It's a, it's a thing. That to go on Wikipedia. That goes not the greatest search engine nowadays, but if you just want up and ready, but you also want this classic feel, yeah, this works. I might even decide to one day package this to a full distribution unto itself, but that'll be later on down the line. As of right now, uBlock. I'm gonna get uBlock Origin installed. We're going to add, run extensions in private windows. There you go. You can go delete these bookmarks. You don't have to though. Activate. There we go. So now we can go to some really interesting websites. Like I'm going to go ahead and, well it's maximized right now. It just doesn't really look like it. If we unmaximize, then we maximize. There we go. So, you might be wondering about the resolution. I will show that here in a minute. I don't know about the difference between hardware or not, so I'll show you it later. We can go to some really interesting websites like I don't know, https colon slash slash www dot slash use No, I, 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 I forgot the URL, the URL to my own actual fucking website. So yeah, just me forgetting things. So, uh, another thing is also xrander. Now, if you run xrander-s1920 x 1080 this happens. Now... Do you notice the problem here? It doesn't quite properly work. It's having a few issues. Only a few. Yeah. 
only a few. So we want to go down lower, say uh, 1280 by 1024. Even that is still not fully contained. Now, of course, went back up to 1080. If you don't want these on the sides, all you care about is shit looking good and running right. Well, then that's fine. Now you can just go ahead and... No. Yeah, N never mind. It's... Try to test that, it does not integrate well. Nope. Okay. So there's also some other resolutions though. So we can go ahead and try them out. We got 12... We got 1280 by 768. 768. That one is pretty low, and it still doesn't work. So it's starting to become a reality that one of the other resolutions that is actually allowed is going to be 800 by 600. Another one though, 1360 by 768, kind of works, somewhat. Mm, it's still a question though. So yeah. But we just go to 800 by 600. Our dock is not showing up for some weird reason. So we're going to go ahead and see if there's just some weird incident. And yep, we are back. And everything is good to go. So yeah, and I came in Firefox, so we we'll move back on. And, and you know what? Yeah, yeah, it's gone now. So yeah, a little bit of jankiness and weirdness, but besides that, it's... Besides that, it works fine. If you got a low-resolution monitor, you'll, you should be fine. Anyway, so we've done everything for today. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next one.